Should you put a 100 amp or 200 amp electrical panel in your rental property? Let's dive into it. Hey there, I'm Clayton Morris. I'm the founder and president of Morris Invest. We're a turnkey rental company and I am a real estate investor and I have been for a number of years. Today we're going to talk about electrical panels. Not terribly sexy, but it is a big upgrade when you're putting a when you're re, you know, rehabbing your rental property. What should you do? Um, in all of our properties, I will tell you that we put a 200 amp electrical panel in the property. We do this for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's not that much more expensive to put in a 200 amp panel versus an older 100 amp panel. Well, what are the difference between these panels in the first place? The bottom line is that a 200 amp panel is tall and the 100 amp panel is less and you can get way more circuits in a 200 amp panel. More electricity coming to the home. Think of it as a pipe from the power company, right? It's coming to you if, you, if you're able to capture all of that extra power and use it in the house. Maybe you've got electric ranges in the house. Maybe you have electric baseboard heating in the house. Um, appliances that are using electricity. Uh, when you have all of those things, a water heater for instance, then you may want to consider going with that 200 amp electrical panel. Um, older homes, and if you're using gas stoves and other appliances, gas furnaces and things like that, those don't of course run on electricity. So therefore you're not necessarily going to need it. Personally, our tenants really like using electric baseboard heat, uh, and it's a really efficient way to heat the home. Uh, it's, they can control different zones in the house, so they don't have to be heating the whole house. They could heat specific portions of the house if they want to when they need it. Um, and so that also means that we have less things to worry about in the house, less you know, furnaces, less things like that to take care of. So a 200 amp electrical panel can be a, be a really powerful tool in your rental property and it also future proofs your house. Maybe they want to add an air conditioning unit on the outside of it, or they want to put window units of air conditioning units in the house. This helps that because then you have more electricity coming to the house. Um, I want to give you a little walkthrough here and show you uh, what one looks like on one of our rental properties. So here we are at the 200 uh, amp electrical panel box right here. You just take a look at how big this bad boy is. And again, the reason we're putting this all into uh, our rental properties is because when you have that extra amplitude coming through the house, that way we, we are able to take care of running electrical uh, floor-based heating around the house. And our tenants love that. When you have electric baseboard heating, our tenants actually ask for it, they love it. And when you can run the whole house off of this panel, that means anything you throw at it, this, this electrical panel can handle, basically. I actually lived in a house not too long ago and you know I have the three kids and my wife and we had a we had one that wasn't even as good as the ones we put in our rental properties um, because and we'd have shorts on a regular basis or the power would go out and you know uh, breakers would break um, it on a regular basis so we put this in our um, in our rental properties that way we can handle it can handle anything that we throw at it again another great reason to put a 200 amp electrical panel into your rental properties when you're doing the rehab. There you have it, and some cities require different things. So you may need to con uh, contact the electric company and work with them on what sort of uh, changes need to be made at the power pole outside of the house and then coming to your property. Other times it could just require a simple upgrade of that electrical, uh, electrical panel in the house and you don't have to worry about much else. But again, we put all 200 amp electrical panels in our house it's sort of future proof, so you know it's going to last for 40 years, plus all of the appliances that we are using today require a heck of a lot of electricity. So you may want to consider putting that in your rental property. That's something we do on all of our houses. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear your questions in the comment threads below this video. And uh, as always, you can subscribe to our video. We have tons of great resources on how to invest in real estate. Uh, we are a turnkey provider, which means we do everything for, for you. Uh, but if you are doing it yourself, we have tons of great resources in here. Um, so please subscribe to our videos and share, like, and come back and see our new videos that we publish every week. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time on our next video. Uh, 3289 Schofield. This is one of our rehabs we're in the middle of right now. So the whole outside.